You're watching Hexus TV, and now that you're watching this show, it's going to be just a few days before Computex. But we filmed this a few weeks before because Antec were on their UK press store. They've come into our studio today, and uh, we're going to be talking about a few products which they are going to be showing at Computex, so we're going to be filming them early. But before we get to that, I need to introduce the two guys sitting here very patiently. This is Christoph Katzer. He is the PSU marketing manager for Antec. And then, of course, we all know Scott Richards, who is the senior vice president of Antec. Guys, welcome to Hexus TV. Thanks a lot for having us here. Thanks, yep. Nick. Always good to be here. Thanks. Actually, it's the first time I've been in the studio, I think. It so, is the first time yeah, in the studio because yeah, yeah. we've normally filmed you down in London, yeah, haven't London we? Yeah, London or, or at one or of the trade shows. Yeah, yeah. 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 Competex CES so, and that sort very of happy to be here. Yeah, finally get you on our sofa. Yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. That doesn't sound It's very weird. comfy, let me tell you. <laughs> These guys have more money than they pretend. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, I wish. It's just stuff with the bodies of falling. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, now these guys are really talking about a thing called Mythbusters. So, uh, Christoph, Mythbusters. I know of the TV program Mythbusters. Is it anything like that? Do you blow stuff up? Uh, yeah, actually not okay. we are blowing stuff up, right. but uh, yeah, we try that people are not blowing stuff up, so... Okay, what is Mythbusters all about though? Uh, yeah, we, we just uh, figured out when I came into Antec, uh, we figured out there's, there's a lot of uh, wrong information in the internet and uh, we just try to, uh, very, uh, in, a, in a very unbiased way, to, to uh, get against these myths, yes. Okay, and this is all right, relates specifically to power supplies, I'm guessing, yeah? Exactly, yes. Yeah, okay. Since uh, I'm power supply marketing manager. Yeah, the title uh, kind of gives it away, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah. Way, yeah. Let's be careful, though. We, we don't want to really call it Myth Busters, I think. We want to call it PSU Myths Busted. I oh, okay, right. Like okay. From a, for, right. for a legal yeah, okay. issues. Okay, so, so we're, just, we're, just, we're just going to watch the yeah, no <laughs> right, okay, so so it, no it's trade. myths busted, yes. okay, and it's related. So what are, what? give me a couple of big myths that are out there. Um, is, is expensive it's, better? Uh, no. Okay, that's one. <laughs> uh, just uh, not necessarily. Yeah. Okay. So uh, what we are actually in the, on the, our first myth, uh, we're taking care of uh, single and multi-rail power supplies is a very big issue, and um, we feel it's very important to educate the users about it because uh, they just take it for granted that single rail power supplies are better. Okay, and why, way, why, so why would someone say single rail? Because surely more is better. No, uh, sure, more is better. Uh, yeah, no, uh, wrong direction. But okay. uh, single rail power supply actually, um, it, the people think that with single rail power supplies, uh, they just have no problems with uh, graphics cards, with okay. overclocking. Uh, they're running more stable or whatever. So this is definitely wrong. So okay. we, we we run this MythBuster series, and uh, we want to educate that. They are definitely wrong about Okay, now, now um, so, so, so could you just briefly, without getting too technical, because I know you're supremely technical, and so before you go completely over my head, my eyes glaze over and I look a complete idiot on camera, could you just briefly <laughs> tell us why um, people perceive single rail as being better, what's the point of it, and why multi-rail actually is just That's as good? It's actually very easy, because um, uh, single and multi-rail power supplies, they actually don't differ very much. The problem is just that uh, with single rail power supplies, uh, these companies took off the OCP. The OCP is the overcurrent protection, okay. and it just actually limits the 12 volt rails uh, to, uh, to to have overcurrent on. So okay. This is actually the the, the basic part. And uh, when you when you don't have any limit, this is just like you don't have any brakes on your car, for example. And you don't have any limit on the 12 volt rails, and then they are running uh, supposedly better with graphics card today. Okay, so it's basically about the graphics cards drawing more current. And exactly. rather than redesigning the power supply to supply more current on the exactly, rail, yes, exactly, they've yeah. just taken off this protection so that they can then overvolt the rail. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Wow! I actually knew something. I'm yes, quite impressed uh, with myself. Direction. So, yes. so um, Scott, I've got to ask though. Surely this is all just a, like a, a marketing campaign for for Antec, or are you actually just trying to be a bit beneficial to the community as a whole? Well, both, um, okay. because we think a well-educated consumer uh, will tend to buy our product. Okay. And so we think if we can put unbiased information out in the marketplace that helps address some of the preconceptions that people have um, and then explain why Antic makes the product design des decisions that we do, mm -hmm. for example, we have a s not built a single rail 12-volt uh, power supply, or I should say a single 12-volt rail power supply, sorry yeah. for mis misstating that. Um, because we think the overcurrent protection is an important safety feature, as Chris was just saying. So, with this myth out there that somehow it's more powerful or will perform better, which ha does have a very, very small uh, basis in fact with some early graphic cards maybe four or five years ago, right. but it's completely not true um, any longer, um, that we've continued to build the multi-rail power supplies because they're safer. And yeah. uh, we just want people to know why. Okay. 
Uh, and so, so, so basically what you're doing, you're not really saying, so in a way you are saying buy into it, but you're not going buy into it because we're the only people that do it. You're no, no, because no, other people do too. I mean, there, we have one or two competitors that haven't, that like us have not given yeah. into the multi, uh, to the single rail design because it's easy to stampede because the market is demanding it yeah. in, in some way because of this misconception. So instead of giving into that, we want to explain to consumers why we continue to mm -hmm. make multi-rail designs. So don't buy the bad ones. Buy a decent one, and you and you make. Well, I'm not well. saying I, I'm, I'm not saying that the, that that single rail designs, um, the, the the companies that make them are bad or they're or, or, or they're cheap or anything like that. What because as Chris said, they're the same essentially. Yeah. It's just one has protection, the other one doesn't. doesn't. I got you. And and it's and and, and it's like uh, uh, you know we use the analogy of having circuit breakers in your home. You could go ten years at home without a circuit breaker going off, mm -hmm. but when it does, you'll be glad you have the protection. Yeah, yeah. And it's the same thing here. Airbags in your car type thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, so, so that's that's one big one then. So, 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 have we got say one other myth that we can quickly cover? Um, I mean, yeah, there there are several out there. For example, that single rail power supplies are more powerful. That they have just um, what we just said already. They are just uh, having less problems with graphics cards. This uh -huh. is one thing um, because this is definitely not true. Because uh, today's graphics cards, they they do need a lot of power. But um, we adjusted to that uh, certain fact and. Um, uh, set the LCP, the over current protection, yep. uh, at a certain higher level that they right. can deliver every power possible to the graphics card. Mm -hmm. So it just doesn't exist today anymore that you have problems uh, with with uh, certain power supplies and your and your graphic cards. It just doesn't exist anymore. Okay. And so plus, most graphic cards are drawing current from two sources, anyways. I mean, from the yeah. PCI. Well, at least two. Yeah, yeah at, at least two. At least two yeah. sources. Uh, you can you can go to the forums, check our MythBuster series, and uh, I, I I added some nice graphics, and it's explaining everything really nice. Obviously, uh, you see where the, where the power is going, how the voltage, uh, all the power is being distributed to the graphics cards, and uh, it's very easy to understand, actually. Okay. All right. Okay. So apart from doing the Mythbusters series, though, you actually get involved a lot with the communities uh, all around the web, don't you? Yes. Yeah. I started I started uh, in, the, in the communities all around the world. Uh, people uh, in the beginning uh, don't want to trust that uh, it's me, that I'm working for Antec, and mm -hmm. uh, so they, for example, demanded pictures with uh, certain text on it, <laughs> and uh, oh, me sitting in the right. lab, for example. But, uh, so we got you on video. It is him. It is him. So Scott, I'm going to put him. I'm going to put him on the spot now because you have a, a care at Hexus forum. Don't yes, you? we do. Yeah. So, is, is, so are and we we're very happy to have it too. It's Fantastic. Funny. I'm very pleased to hear that. <laughs> so are we going to have a directive from the senior VP now um, mm. for um, Christoph to be getting involved? Yes, everybody Certainly. in Hexus, if you want to talk to Christoph, go into our Hexus forum, and he'll be there to answer your questions about power supplies. So got you on that Definitely. one, didn't we? There you go. Uh, check out soon on Hexa TV because you may have noticed these two little beauties sitting on the table and we're going to be talking about them in the next show.